Okay, so for context, Fresh Season 2024 was just revealed, and there were a lot of cool things shown off, like the new stage, Marlin Airport, and two new main weapons. But among the six new weapon kits shown off, one stood out to everyone as having the highest potential, being the new Squiffer. We already knew Squiffer had Autobomb because its ink tank read a 55% marker, which is the same ink cost as Autobomb. But the special was a little harder to pin down. It could have got something like Inkjet to reference the fresh Squiffer from Splatoon 2, or Kraken from Splatoon 1. There were a lot of good options here, but people wanted something new. Something that would allow Squiffer to play to its aerial strengths, great movement, and insane aggressive potential. A special just like Zipcaster. And lo and behold, on the 15th of February, the new Squiffer was revealed with Autobomb and Zipcaster. This year and a half long wait was well worth it for Squiffer players, as all of the montage makers and Sour Breaks fans cheered after so much suspense about what the kit could be. I want to take a second to talk about how good this kit actually is for this weapon. Obviously, there's the aspect of referencing old kits. Squiffer had Autobomb in Splatoon 2, and the fresh variant had Inkjet, a recall special similar to Zipcaster. But the kit goes way further than that. Squiffer has a mechanic where its charge is not slowed in the air compared to other chargeable weapons in the game. Combined with the Zipcaster's ability to ascend insanely high into the air, this is naturally a super synergistic special for the weapon. It also allows for a lot of cool angles, trick shots, and positioning that your regular Squiffers would not be able to play to, which is insanely cool. And let's not forget about Autobomb, which allows the Squiffer to poke in areas that it can't reach. It can also find people, which is something that Squiffer struggles with thanks to its mediocre paint output. Overall, this kit is absolutely amazing, and in my opinion, one of the most perfect kits this weapon could get. It's certainly a lot better than the Vanilla Carbon, which has the same kit, but works a lot less with its main weapon. I think it really shows just how far the devs have come with some of these kits. But what do you think about this new Squiffer? Let me know in the comments, and also tell me if you liked this sort of mini analysis. I would love to do more of these in the future. But aside from that, have a great rest of your day, and take care.